The country's most pressing drug crisis, the House passing a bill that makes penalties permanent for fentanyl-related drugs. This as new polls reveal that American voters believe border security is worse than it was two years ago. Joining us now, Wisconsin Congressman Scott Fitzgerald. Congressman, it's great to have you on the program. Thank you so much for being here. I'm just gonna write, jump, jump right into this, which is many people in this country are gonna appreciate what you're trying to do with the penalt uh, penalties related to fentanyl, but they're also gonna ask the question, how do you solve the crisis if you don't close the border? Right, Jackie. Uh, one of the things that every member of Congress that has been down to the border and has spent any time, uh, not just with the Border Patrol agents, but with Homeland Security, uh, the question you get all the time or the comment that's often offered to you is please make fentanyl a Schedule One narcotic. Uh, they understand kind of how it would be perceived, how it changes the profile of fentanyl, through uh, not, not only at the border, but through the entire legal system as it makes its way through America. So the HALT Act, which is the, the bill that passed the House, and we've had many bills, including a bill I worked on with Senator Ron Johnson, the SOFA Act, uh, they, all, they all had that as part of the bill was to, to label fentanyl as a Schedule I. And uh, it, it, it obviously uh, garnered a ton of support in the House. I want to talk about maybe some other support that McCarthy may or may not need in a few days. Of course, we are still waiting on that debt ceiling agreement between the White House and Speaker McCarthy. Would you support any McCarthy deal that comes out of this? I think I'm in the same spot that a lot of other members are. We're very hopeful that they can come back with a deal that's very close to what passed the House in the first place. I think we're all very satisfied with that bill, uh, but I understand. You know, this is uh, you're making you're making law, uh, and legislators have an opportunity and the ability to kind of be nimble. Uh, so everybody's kind of sitting by their phone. I think the rank and file members are sitting by their phone, waiting uh, to get that phone call to return to D.C. And then we'll have an opportunity. 72 hours, by the way, uh, which never happened under Speaker mm -hmm. Pelosi, to actually read the bill before you would be asked to vote for it. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Congressman, really appreciate your time. We're short on time today, uh, but we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That was Congressman Fitzgerald.